are doing a Q and A. That's my musical impression. Yo, 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 my diggity dudes. It's Kennedy here, and today I have for you my Q and A, which will be just barely edited, considering that I have absolutely no time to edit. So all of this recording will hopefully be done in a short amount of time. So let's take my faux MacBook and start answering some questions, shall we? Okay, so first off, we have Vanessa Blue asking, what does your camera roll look like? Also, favorite song. Um, my camera roll is way too long to show, and I might actually do that in another video, because I was thinking about doing that. Um, it's mostly just memes from Voltron or Ruby or fan art or musicals, and I've got some dance videos, so like my solo, Lexi's solo, just some dance videos. The dance that I choreographed. If you go on my Instagram, pointlessly.amazing, you can see the thing I put choreographed. Um, so yes, that is kind of what my camera roll looks like. And my favorite song, right now, I don't know what my favorite song is, but it would either be I Got It by Marion Hill or Cancer by 21 Pilots, because those are both good songs. Alright, so how did you and your girlfriend meet and realize that you like each other? Me and my girlfriend are no longer together. Um, we met through school, um, we realized that we liked each other through circumstances, I don't feel comfortable talking about this, so, yeah, that's, doesn't, that's not a thing anymore, sorry, oh, that was by my guy, sorry, um, Madness in My Mind asks, have you ever been friend zoned, um, yes, I have been, actually, uh, multiple times, Ugh, it was horrible, um, what would someone have to do to make you angry? To make me angry, they'd probably have to be very ignorant and wouldn't admit that they are wrong when they are wrong. That would ha you have to do to make me angry. Also, to unpolitely go against my opinion. Like, I will, like, I, I find it okay when people are like, you know, like, I, I, I don't, I respect your opinion. However, I believe, blah, 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 but it's okay if you don't believe that. However, it's not okay when somebody goes, your opinion is wrong, and here's why, blah, <laughs> okay? Like, seriously, don't do that. Unless your opinion is literally, like, Hitler was a good person. Um, okay, dark chocolate or white, these are all madness in my mind, by the way. Dark chocolate or white chocolate, probably dark chocolate because it's good and it's good for you um but i do like white chocolate too so it's kind of like a tie on that one people usually say that you look older or younger people normally say that i look older than i look it's kind of mixed reviews because if you know how much how old i actually am um you think that i'm about that age but if you find out how if you don't know how old i am i look older then I actually, like, once you know my age, you can tell that I'm that age. But if you don't know my age, I normally look older than I actually am. It's, like, hard to describe. That is, was a weird question. Um, bunk beds, would you like to have one? Um, I have a bunk bed, actually. This up here is my bed. But down here, it's just a desk. But I would like a bed down here instead of the desk for, like, sleepovers and stuff. Alright. Um... Taylor Arf says, what is your favorite song from any Ruby soundtrack? Um, and theirs is From Shadows from Volume 1 or I May Fall from Volume 3. Actually, my favorite is probably I May Fall from Volume 3 or um, I like the Weiss This Life Is Mine, I think, from Volume 4. Um, but I also really like Caffeine from Volume 2 because Caffeine is like one of my favorites right now. Oh, another one from Taylor Arf says, when you first started reacting to Ruby... Did you ever think you would be um, as invested in it as you are now, or did you just think, just think it would be a goofy show to react to? Um, I did never thought I would be invested as I am in it now, because I just thought it would be a silly little thing to watch, and like, it wouldn't exactly be all that great, but it was requested to me, so I did it, and now that I'm in it, it is so good, and I never thought it would impact my life this way. But it did, and I'm so glad that I did. It, it did impact me that way. So, thank you for asking that question. Um, Zom asks, does it bother that your you that your channel was hijacked twice by I can't remember her name. Sorry, Lexi. No, it doesn't. Lexi's a good person. 
So yeah. Um, do you or do you not know the way? Um, oh my god. <sighs> That's a dead meme. I'm gonna say, I don't know. Um, Jonathan Yara says, when will you start reacting to My Hero Academia? Dub, not sub. I'm not sure right now. I'm really not sure. Um, I don't know if I will be at all. So... Huh. Okay, hang on. We got some stuff here. Okay, so Isaf Mobius 18 asks, What shows are you looking forward to seeing from Rooster Teeth? Nomad of Nowhere, Gen Lock, TV season, other seasons, Camp Camp. Okay, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing Gen Lock because that looks really good. I haven't seen really th seen anything for Nomad of Nowhere, so I don't really know what that's about. But Gen Lock looks really good, and as soon as that comes out, I'm definitely going to be reacting to it. Um, I'm excited to continue Chibi. Um, I cannot wait for Camp Camp Season 3. Um, I just... Summer, please come. Because it comes near my birthday, since my birthday is in June. Alright, um... And then they also ask... Um, do you have a past show you wish you reacted to on this channel? I wish that I had reacted to Star vs. the Forces of Evil or Gravity Falls on this channel. Sadly, I got to that before I started YouTube at all. So, oops. <laughs> um, and question three says, what other shows do you know um, or want to react to in the future? Um... I would like to react to the Avatar series and the Legend of Korra series, so again, if any of you have any good, like, re um, websites for that, I would really appreciate it if you could comment that below, because it would make me so much ha- so much happy, much happy, very happy, please, I just need to know a website, because I would really like to react to that show, so. Um... Have you converted anyone else into Ruby fans? In fact, I have. Um, my friend Berea, you might see her in the comments. I call her Billy very often. She's Nicole on YouTube. She doesn't have any YouTube videos, but um, I converted her. I have converted my friend Brooke, who happens to be my honorary ex-wife um, at dance. And then um, I kind of converted Lexi because I brought her back to the show, considering that she took a little break. So, see, I'm doing good, guys. I'm doing good. Um... And the last question from them um, says, If you could meet any animated character, who would it be? Why? And what would you want to do with them? Any animated character... Hmm... I would probably bring out... If I'm being honest, I'd bring out Ilya, because Ilya could be, like, my wing woman, and then we could just go pick up some chicks together, so... <laughs> Alright, um... Don... Don... Don Quixote... Don Flam... Do Flamingo... I'm just butchered your name. I am so sorry. Has your life changed a little since you began the Ruby Reactions? And would you consider making a Twitch and a Play Games on there? If you make a stream account, I'll buy you some... Or Steam account, I'll buy you some nice games. Oh my god, thank you so much. Um, I have a Steam account, actually. I don't know my thing. I can check that on here. I will check that on here. Um, my life has definitely changed since I started Ruby Reactions. Because of just... So many of you have connected with me. Um, I've got 1.5 thousand subscribers in the past three months. What? Like, how does that even happen? Um, I don't know how that works. It just does work. Um, and as for my uh, Twitch account, I really do want to start a Twitch account. However, my camera would be really horrible because I could only start it on my computer. And that camera, it does not work out. And I do not have a camcorder, which I'm trying to get. I am trying to get. Um, also, my Steam account is Pointlessly Ken, no spaces, nothing, K-E-N-N, -N, so Pointlessly K-E-N-N. -N. Um, that is my Steam account, if you would like to friend me or something, connect. Um, and if you bought me a game, I literally, I would love you forever, thank you. Um, okay, Ian Vienna says, greetings from Brazil, hope you remember me, don't forget that question, I made you, love you, bye. Ah, okay! Okay, 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 let me go find that question. Alright, so ignore that noise over there, for there is a shower being taken. Also, ignore those. Oh, that's a charger. Um, so, 
Ian Vienna asks, how does it feel knowing that there are people from other countries watching your videos? And that absolutely just bewilders me and blows my mind because it's like all I've ever known is like Americans and people who live in Arizona with me and it's like scary to think that, wow, wow, uh, there's this dude, he, like he's from Brazil and then there's people from Egypt who watch me and people from the UK and I've always wanted to live in the UK so it's like I don't know it's so weird just to think that there are people from other countries like watching me that aren't Americans for once so it's w weird it's strange to think about but it's awesome to think about so thank you um okay so we have um, how does your hair change so much in such a little time by Master Gamer 123E? Okay, so in between videos, sometimes I take a shower and then like blow dry my hair so it'll go from like curly to straight or like and then straight to wavy. Um, or sometimes I'll straighten my hair in between making a video so my hair will go from wavy to straight. Or I'll curl my hair in between videos so my hair will go from straight to wavy or wavy or or straight to curly and wavy to cur curly. I don't know. Lots of different hairstyles I like to do. Um, sometimes I do my hair in between the videos, so I like put it half up, half down, in a ponytail, in a bun, and it's like so weird. And I know my hair is kind of a mess, but that is what I do because I'm bored all the time and I constantly want someone touching my hair. Okay. <laughs> um, we have Minister Six Evil asking um what would you look like with a mustache you know i'm not sure but i think i'd look pretty good somebody put under that respect the mustache so respect the mustache um the decipher asks did you eat your chicken i did in fact eat my chicken thank you for the chicken place down the street <laughs> um okay master gamer 123e asks mars okay more questions um, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? I would probably have the power to um, read minds or emotions because I'm already good at like body language right now um, and like psychology really interests me. So it would be cool to like find if there's like this bad guy to see like what their moral is or like what they're doing this for or if like there's somebody who won't tell you what's wrong but you know something's wrong so I can finally like see what's wrong if people don't like me I know not to like hang out with them or if I'm agitating someone I know to calm it down and let them give them some space that would be fun like you know it would be good um what sport do you follow if you follow any of course I actually do not follow a sport um I follow dance but it's more of an art than a sport unless it's competitive I don't know it just depends on how you look at it I think it's both because it's competitive but I find it an art so um, I kind of follow dance, but I don't really care about sports very much. I like basketball. Basketball games and uh, baseball games are really fun to go to, so. Um, who inspires you? Someone you look up to all the time. There are quite a bit of people um, who inspire me. So one of them is a Instagrammer who also lives in Arizona. <laughs> oh my goodness. But they're, it's, um, they, he pronouns Juno, short hair short Juno on Instagram, who is honestly like one of just like the best cosplayers I've seen one of the best influencers I've seen they go to the women's march and then Juno has like such fun hair and Juno's just so amazing and creative and I love them so much and I wish I could have gone to their last meetup but I couldn't because I didn't have a ride which sucked because I wanted to go to Juno's last meetup but there's Juno and then there's Thomas Sanders who I also really look up to who is a great endorser of like um, rights and like gay rights and people who um, ne don't necessarily it's showing that not every L person a part of the LGBT community is the same I also look up to Mac does it the youtuber um, who is also an endorser of gay rights and I look up to our Lord and Savior Lynn Miranda because he is beautiful and I love him and he's just such an amazing person with a Puerto Rico accent um, him trying to with JLo on Love Make the World Go Round and of course I look up to my mom who's just amazing and I love her so much and she inspires me every single day to do my absolute best because she works her butt off for me and I love her so much so yes um 
what's the funniest video you've ever watched? Probably anything by Brandon Rogers, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I love Brandon Rogers, so he just makes me laugh so hard. Um, okay, so we've got another uh, question from Taylor Arf asking, what is my favorite line from Ruby? My favorite line from Ruby is probably um, Pura's line, the do you believe in destiny? And then Jean... It's like episode 8, not do you believe in destiny and then she dies. It's do you, it's like, um, do you believe in destiny? And John's like, well, I guess that depends on how you look at it. And I like her explanation of like how she looks at destiny um, is uh, like, I think, I don't think of it as some fate you can't escape, but as a final goal that you work towards your entire life. Because that, I don't know why, but that just kind of sat with me. I also really, really, really like Penny's, um, I'm combat ready! I don't know why, it's just one of my favorites. So those are what sat with me. Um, okay, and MasterGamer123E also asks, do you read Ruby fanfiction? Not really. The only fanfiction I've ever actually really read was Voltron fanfiction um, and the Percy Jackson Voltron fanfiction crossovers because every Ruby fanfiction I've ever really looked at isn't very good, but you gave me some recommendations, so I will definitely go look, check those out. Um, and then they also asked, if someone's about to commit suicide, what do you say to them? Or do you just walk away? Be honest. Um, if someone is standing in front of me and is about to commit suicide, what I would do is I would probably, I wouldn't touch them because I know that's a bad thing to do. That is such a bad thing to do. Um, is I would stand there calmly, as calmly as I could. I would take a deep breath, be like, look, breathe, think about what you're doing think about who you might hurt here and say and if you don't I was like and think about how you're gonna hurt yourself you have so much left to live for like things will get better they will if you're in a bad spot right now find a way to get out of it be like I can offer you any help that you need be like um you can come if it's stuff at home you can come live with me like if there's anything wrong you can always just find some help that's what I would say and if they kill themselves even after hearing that I would definitely be sad um, but I would feel like I did all that I could and I would definitely go try to get other people to help them so while I'm like fighting for time I would call the police or the ambulance or something find somebody to help get them down and to stop them so that's what I would do um, okay so now we have the Karsten James speed round so I'm so excited for this let's go into this so, Carson James Speedrun starts now. How long do you plan on doing YouTube? As long as I possibly can, um, because that would be so much fun. Um, what time of the day are you most inactive? Probably at night, between the times of 8 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, what motivates you in life? Um, motivate. What motivates me in life? Probably um, my mom, my family, and uh, memes. Yeah. Um, do you like ASMR? I hate ASMR. It just freaks me out. Makes... Um, who's your favorite reactor? Probably, um, I do like the Flaming Shark, but right now I've been getting into Sammy Cohn. I like her too. Um, can bisexuals experience love? Triggered. Haha, <laughs> JK, what love did they experience? Bisexuals can experience all love other than love with, um, non-binary people. Speaking of which, I think I might be Pam because I am in love with Juno. <laughs> Um, is YouTube the right place for you? I think YouTube is definitely the right place for me because, um, YouTube is just an amazing platform to be on, even though it's kind of mean to me sometimes, but I love all of you guys, so YouTube is just definitely worth it. Um, what is your opinion on psychology? I really like psychology. I'm planning on taking a psychology course in high school, so. Um, do you believe in mental health? Uh, mental health, yes, I do believe in mental why wouldn't you believe in mental health? Like, mental health is very important, and um, if you don't have good stability in your mental health or mental health issues, that's bad. I'm sorry if you have mental health issues. Um, for um, Also, who's your life dedicated to? My life is probably dedicated to my family, my mother, my dogs, and my sisters, and um, my stepdad. Like, that's definitely who I would dedicate my life to. Um... What is your name for your bed and house? Um, my bed's name is Bed. My house's name is Home. Um, what time am I recording at? It is currently 5.15 on the dot. 
Um, don't forget to eat your veggie chicken. Of course, I will not forget to eat my veggie chicken. Which Ruby volume intro is your favorite? My favorite intro is probably um, volume 3 or volume 5. Which Ruby character do you want to transform into? I'd probably transform into Pyrrha, but I would not like her end. Um, at age 7, did you look at a tree and think that tree is now my life? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, at dance, do you hide... At a dance, do you hide at the punch bowl? I do, actually. I hide at the food. Um, I don't normally have dates to dances, so... Um, who are your favorite Ruby characters? Um, right now, the alive ones are probably Weiss. Um, I really like Weiss and Yang, but Yang's getting a little temperamental for me. Like, a little bit questionable, so Weiss right now. Um, what is your best pickup line for men and women irrespect or respectively? Um, for men, it's probably, um, I don't know. I don't really have pickup lines. Uh, I really don't. Um, what's your favorite show of all time? His is, uh, or theirs is, I don't want to assume your gender, sorry. Um, Avatar, The Last Airbender, and The Legend of Korra. My favorite show of all time is probably Ruby, if I'm being completely honest. And I'm planning on reacting to Avatar, The Last Airbender, and Legend of Korra. Who are your least favorite characters out of Ruby? My least favorite characters are probably Cinder or Adam, because Adam isn't really a likable character, and Cinder was just a bee, so. What is your spirit animal? My spirit animal is actually, I took this quiz, my spirit animal is like, um, I think it's a ghost leopard, which like doesn't exist, but it's like really cool, so yeah. Um, what year has been your best year? Probably this year, if I'm being honest. This year has been a really good year for me. So, yeah, yay, end of 2017, beginning of 2018, because I've been doing really good lately. Um, how many legs do you have? As far as I know, two. Um, what equipment do you use? I use my cell phone, my computer, and on the occasion, a nice desk light. Um, what are your career ambitions? Um, I want to be a voice actor or actress in general. Um, that's what I want to do. I also want to be a dancer on Broadway. But if you have any openings for voice acting, I am a pretty good actress if I do say so myself. I can do many voices. We also have the question, how many bisexuals do you know? Quite a bit, actually. I know about including pansexuals. We're going to include pansexuals here, too. We've got, um, me. We've got my ex, we've got my friend, we've got my other friend, we've got Alex. That's about five. I don't, I don't five people, um, including myself. Um, how many lives have you lived? I don't know. I get deja vu a lot, though, so maybe quite a bit. Um, what is your role in life right now? I don't know. Right now, I am just a YouTuber attempting to make people laugh. Um, and I am a cheerleader and a dancer. That's all I know right now. Um, if Ruby has 10 apples, Yang takes 2 and now has 22 for herself. How many apples do you have? Um, I have all of the apples. I'll steal them from both Yang and Ruby. Um, how many yellows are in your name? None so far. I hope to get more in the future. What's your favorite color? Um, my favorite color is probably um, green and pink. Like this green, like darker green. And then... Um, like these pinks, like a like nice pastel pink. Um, what cars do you look for in cats and ants? You know, I look for all kinds of cars. Like, um, I like BMWs. Uh, yeah. Um, do you, will you do gaming content like playing Ruby Grim Eclipse? Um, as soon as I buy them, I'll try. Um, I was planning on doing a, uh, Sim series because I have that available to me on my laptop but with ruby characters so that might be a little bit fun um do you aspire to be ozpin i aspire to be as cool as ozpin because he's pretty awesome have you ever watched avatar the last airbender if not would you do a reaction series to it i'm planning on doing a reaction series to it yay um what grim is your favorite grim um my favorite grim honestly is probably the big gigantic sea dragon thing that blake and sun fought back in volume four or the Grimm that they fought at the end of Volume 4 with, like, the screaming. Because that, that one was really cool. I really liked both of them. Um, who's your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber... I don't have a favorite YouTuber right now. Um, I don't really watch a specific YouTuber. Um, 
so not really a favorite YouTuber. I like Thomas Sanders, and I like Miles Chronicles, and I like Mac Does It. Um, I also really like Coco Joelle, because I follow her Instagram where she does, like, cosplays and dances and stuff, so I like her, um, stuff. Um, what elephant is your life based around? Probably the Goliaths from, uh, Volume 2. Um, ooh, okay, alright, um... I don't know if we have more. That's all of them! I went through all of Carson James' questions! I'm so proud of myself. So, that was all of them. I just went through every single one of your guys' questions, so I'm quite proud of myself. As always, if you liked the video, please leave a like. Um, it was so much fun to like answer all these questions. It always is to do Q&As, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I certainly did. Um, Again, please leave a like if you liked it. Please subscribe if you like my personality. Please hit the notification bell if you like to see more of my videos and my content. I will now be expanding from Ruby stuff to just random posts, as you can see from my weird Be More Chill post. Um, I'll be doing more stuff like that, just random stuff that I do. Um, more Q&As, more vlogs. I'll be doing more back at it with Lexi. But I will always, always, always have my root of Ruby, so... Yes, I will be expanding from that for reactions, too, um, by doing Avatar The Last Airbender and Korra. So, again, if you guys have any websites um, for me to watch those on, I would very much appreciate that. Thank you very much. Now, if you like, now if you do like the video, please don't comment about it because I really don't care. And, as always, thank you guys for watching. I can't say don't forget to eat your chicken because this wasn't really a Rooster Teeth related video. But we did have Ruby stuff on there. So, don't forget to eat your chicken. And, bye.